In today's video, we will share some very good news about Pulse Chain and Pulse X with you. This is the important news that will probably speed up the process of launching Pulse Chain. Pulse Chain Testnet version 2.5, announced by Richard Hart, will be online next week. Yes, and we will go into detail on this in some time, but before that, we'd like to first tell you about the explosive world of metaverse games, how it will change the way you think, and then we'll present our list of the 10 best gaming projects for big wins in the future. So, as usual, watch this video to the end so you don't miss anything. Hi Cryptopreneurs, welcome back to the channel. We are giving away $1,000 to 10 lucky winners. Each winner will get $100 to start their crypto journey. All you need to do is like the video, subscribe, comment on your favorite crypto coin in the comments section, and register yourself on our giveaway link in the description. Winners will be announced in our videos and Telegram group. You should also consider joining our channel as a member. Our members enjoy cool perks, free merch, exclusive deals, and more. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Blockchain is a revolution that will impact many sectors in the coming years. However, some sectors will be impacted before others. Among the sectors that will be heavily impacted by mass adoption is the gaming industry. The games industry is growing faster than ever. The games industry is currently valued at $173 billion, and there are very positive indicators that it will surpass the $300 billion mark in the next five years. This boom is due to the massive influx of new players, particularly on mobile platforms, which have made gaming a more convenient and easily accessible experience for the world's estimated 2.6 billion gamers. But for many, being online just for fun is no longer their primary motivation. As the saying goes, time is money, and gamers have certainly noticed that they are investing a lot in virtual experiences without much return. So, they have started to look for ways to monetize their hobby. However, beyond the world of esports, there hasn't been much opportunity for casual gamers to monetize the effort they put into the game until now. The rise of blockchain games has turned the gaming industry on its head by making players, not developers, the primary financial decision makers. Play to earn, P2E, crypto games are a trend that should not be overlooked. But before we get into the details, it's worth understanding how it all works. Play to earn coins combine two extremely popular industries, cryptocurrency and video games. Many are online games that use cryptocurrency as the game currency. Players can use the game's cryptocurrency to buy characters and weapons. These games also often use a play to win model where players can earn cryptocurrency as they complete tasks. In general, most games have marketplaces where users can buy and trade items such as weapons, avatars, and loot boxes. But they may not own any of these items, even if they have paid for them with real money. This is because, for most of the game's history, the developers have followed a centralized model, which means that they have had complete control over the game's dynamics, from the plot to the game assets collected by players. As everything is owned by a single entity, players do not own their accounts and items. Other limitations are also associated with this model, including the lack of transparency and the potential for manipulation of game mechanics. The most dedicated players can get tangible rewards for their creations, while those with artistic inclinations can design and sell collectibles. The potential is huge, and game developers are just getting started. And some have entered the game's world just to become investors, while others have made it their full-time occupation. Blockchain game companies have raised $850 million in the last half of 2021. As a new industry, gaming coins could have serious growth potential. Cryptocurrencies in the gaming industry should therefore be targeted, especially for 2022 and beyond. Among these, we have some even more promising ones that we will discuss now, one by one. Number 10, Engine Coin, ENJ. Behind Engine Coin is Engine, the largest online gaming community. Engine offers a flexible and free platform to create, integrate, and scale tokenized gaming assets. The team behind the Engine Coin project has created smart contracts 
that allow game developers to make their items tradable. Many games are already based on engine coin technology, we have Forest Knight, Bitcoin Holder, War of Crypto, Age of Rust, Nine Lives Arena, and Rebounce. Even better, the engine coin cryptocurrency has partnered with the world's leading smartphone manufacturer, Samsung. The partnership aimed to distribute the engine coin wallet directly on the South Korean giant's Galaxy S10 Plus smartphones. Earlier this summer, Samsung announced that it had already sold over 16 million units of these smartphones. These numbers are expected to continue to grow to at least 20 million units sold, making the Engine Coin wallet available on a massive scale. This partnership is expected to enable Engine Coin to become the most widely used cryptocurrency in the gaming industry. This will allow the project to solidify its position in the top 100 most capitalized cryptocurrencies and reach at least the top 50 during 2023. Number 9, Theta Token. With its cryptocurrency project, Theta Token aims to disrupt the online video industry in the same way that YouTube did in 2005 about the traditional video. Concretely, Theta Token wants to become the leading video platform on the blockchain by offering a decentralized streaming mode with a bandwidth consumption sharing model based on its Theta Token. This model should allow all streamers to benefit whether they are located in countries where the internet connection is cheap and of good quality, or in countries, where the internet connection is very expensive and of poor quality. In the video game industry, we have seen that, influencers are increasingly using streaming platforms to interact with their audience. In this context, Theta Token offers a solution of choice in the gaming industry. Sliver TV, the main distribution platform of the Theta Token project, already has more than 1 million users, and is growing rapidly, giving the reason for optimism. Theta is on the doorstep of the top 50 most valuable cryptocurrencies at the moment, and will aim for the top 30 during 2023. Number 8, Dream Team Token, Dream. Another cryptocurrency to bet on for 2022 and beyond, Dream Team Token is a slightly bigger bet than Engine Coin and Theta Token, as its token the Dream only reaches a distant rank in the top most valued cryptocurrencies. The Dream Team Token project is an infrastructure platform and payment gateway for esports and gaming. This cryptocurrency is therefore clearly positioned in a very buoyant sector, as esports is set to become even more important in the coming years. At the head of Dream Team Token is Alexander Kokonovsky, who is well known in the esport industry, with over 20 years of experience behind him. This is reassuring for the seriousness of the project. The use cases for Dream are multiple ranging from paying in tokens, as part of a subscription model, to purchasing assets, on a case-by-case -case basis, on the Dream Team token platform. In addition, the payment of fees for the implementation of smart contracts, for the provision of specific services is possible. Finally, the platform can be used for any gamification and reward purposes. The platform is still unknown to many, but the fundamentals are solid, and will be something to reckon with, in 2022 and beyond. Number 7, Light Knight. Developed by the same team behind Bitcoin arcade portal Satoshi's games, Light Knight has been defined as a Fortnite-like battle royal game. This online multiplayer game rewards players with Bitcoins for shooting other players, and microtransactions are powered entirely by the Lightning Network. Players who master the game and shoot more players are more likely to earn more Bitcoins. On the other hand, players who get shot are penalized and lose bitcoins. All game assets can be tokenized and traded via an NFT marketplace, the Elixir Marketplace. Number 6, Gods Unleashed. One of many games inspired by Magic, The Gathering, this card battle title is very similar to Hearthstone. Users build decks and play cards to fight and defeat their opponents. As a blockchain-based game, players can fully own the cards they win and sell or trade them at will. As with physical trading card games, some cards are incredibly rare and can be valued at hundreds of thousands of dollars. For the more skeptical players who aren't ready to take the plunge, there is a free-to-play option as well. Number 5, Mobox. This free-to-play option combines gaming with decentralized finance and runs on the Binance Smart Chain. The developers of Mobox have stated that this approach will bring the game closer to GameFi as a platform where players and investors can access games from different blockchains in one place. 
The main objective of the game is to allow players to participate in NFT games freely and earn money while playing. M box tokens are used for transaction processing, staking, and governance to influence the development and allocation of resources within the Mobox ecosystem. Currently, three games are available on the platform, with two more to be announced soon. Number 4, The Sandbox. The Sandbox is a decentralized platform where players create their 3D game worlds using visual scripting tools, which means no coding knowledge is required. Players create games and store assets on land, the sandbox's digital real estate. Sand tokens power the sandbox. Players use these tokens for in-game transactions, such as purchasing equipment and land. There are a limited number of land plots available. Only 166,464 will exist, and some have sold for over $50,000. So far, the Sandbox has amassed a large and varied list of partnerships that could help grow its user base. It is working with the game company Atari to create virtual theme parks. Several celebrities, including Snoop Dogg and Deadmau5, have also become involved with the Sandbox and have created their virtual domains. Number 3. Yield Guild Games Most of the most popular blockchain games use NFTs. Yield Guild Games is a decentralized organization that aims to maximize the value of the investment in NFTs used in various games, including Axie Infinity and the Sandbox. It does this by selling and renting NFTs. This allows owners to earn money from their NFTs and other players to buy or rent them. For example, if you own Axies, the creatures used in Axie Infinity, you can offer them the Yield Guild Games. Another user could then rent your axes, in exchange for a share of the profits they make from playing the game. Yield Guild Games is another new project, launched in July 2021. Over the next month, its price rose by almost 550%, but then lost more than half its value. Given the importance of NFTs to blockchain gaming, Yield Guild Games has a clear use case, and it could work well, if the industry continues to grow. Number 2. Alluvium Set to launch in 2022, Alluvium is an open-world RPG with elements of the Final Fantasy and Pokemon games. Players control characters, called Hunters, and as they explore, they encounter creatures, called Alluvials. These Alluvials are NFTs, and when you capture one, it is stored in your wallet. As this is an earnable game, players will be able to earn Alluvium tokens to win competitions and tournaments. Although Alluvium has been compared to Axie Infinity, there are several major differences. Unlike Axie Infinity, Alluvium will be 3D with an open world, and will have a story mode. If it lives up to the hype, it could be the rare crypto game, that also connects to traditional gamers. Alluvium's price and market cap have risen considerably, in anticipation of the game's release. The fact that, its price has already increased so much, is something to consider before investing. If nothing else, it's worth keeping an eye on Alluvium, to see what players think when it comes out. Number 1, Decentraland. Built on the Ethereum blockchain, Decentraland is a shared virtual reality platform. Similar to other virtual worlds, it offers plots, called land, that players can buy, and use as they wish. What makes Decentraland special, is its freedom for players. Land can be used for games, art, activities, digital tourism, and much more. Decentraland also has communities, called districts, dedicated to specific themes. Decentraland's native token, MANA, is used for in-game transactions, such as purchasing land. It is also a governance token, that gives holders the right to vote. Decentraland is still in the early stages of building its user base, with monthly user numbers in the hundreds. This is a double-edged sword for potential investors. On the one hand, the platform may not catch on. But, if it does, there is potential for explosive growth. The growth of the gaming industry will continue to increase in the years to come. This is a certainty. Cryptocurrencies that have positioned themselves in this industry, will also boom in the years to come. Indeed, gamers will find a strong interest in using these cryptocurrencies to simplify their gaming experience. As more and more gamers adopt them, the price of their tokens will inevitably rise. Now let's talk about the good news on PulseChain and PulseX. So, what's going on? Good progress on PulseChain and PulseX, as a reminder, the sacrifice phase of PulseX is over. 
Pulsechain Testnet version 2.5 announced by Richard Hart will be online next week. So why 2.5? We think Testnet version 2.5 is called that because AV3 is inevitable. Or rather to show that we're already halfway through the AMM bot updates and that the launch is just around the corner. You know AMM automated market making bots provide liquidity to a marketplace using algorithmic market making. As soon as these bots are ready, all that's left to do is launch them to provide liquidity to the system. This is a big step for the launch. But what's left? Richard Hart himself said in an interview that he is not waiting for the right time to launch Pulse Chain. It will be launched as soon as everything is ready. We think Pulse Chain will be launched first and PulseX will follow. One thing is for sure, being aware of the fact that Ethereum 2.0 will probably solve all the problems that Pulse Chain is supposed to solve. If it launches before it, it would be very bad for Pulse Chain. And we know that the first launch phase of Ethereum 2.0 was in 2020, and the final phase will be in the fourth half of 2022. So, before that, Pulse Chain will already be launched. Of course, this is just our opinion, and many of you may well disagree. But this just confirms the doubt of some who are tired of waiting for Pulse Chain to launch and think that Pulse Chain will not be launched this year. So, the good news we have is that Pulse Chain will probably be launched before the launch of Ethereum 2.0, which will take place in the fourth half of this year. The launch must happen this year for obvious reasons. A second thing is that if the launch happens in the bear market, it will probably be a good thing because everyone will be able to position themselves at the bottom to make huge profits in the next bull run or in the years to come. We can't wait to see what it looks like. With this, here comes the end of the video. We hope you guys found this video tremendously valuable and especially entertaining. Be sure to check out our crypto brand called Cryptopreneur, the original crypto merch brand. We have an amazing collection of crypto designs on t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, and more. Check them out at www.cryptopreneur.com. Use code YT10 for 10% off at checkout. Link will be in the description. And also make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of our content. Till next time, goodbye.